Anthony Ferraro, Dan Mancina, two blind guys collide to bring you Four Bad Eyes Podcast. Today's episode is brought to you by Clusive. You, woo, woo, woo. Woo. That's right. Our first partnership, Stoked. Clusive is a online learning platform designed by and for the visually impaired. Did you know that the average salary for a blind person is only $27,000? Clusive graduates have increased this by 1.8 times, almost double. That's and almost double. Almost double, 1.8. And they're constantly teaming up with large companies to bring you more meaningful and higher paying jobs. So they're teaming up with the companies to provide these jobs for the blind and visually impaired and get them actually in these jobs with no um, discrimination. Is that correct, Daniel? That is correct. And everything also, is. Go ahead. Did you know that only or did you know that 86 percent of uh, job interviews are done virtually and inclusive will give the blind or visually impaired individual the skill set to pass this interview and be confident they're the only ones providing training for the visually impaired for online virtual in uh interviews so, that's crazy almost 100 percent of jobs so make sure you go check out clusive if you're blind or visually impaired you know someone that's blind or visually impaired or if you're a big business that is looking to hire blind or visually impaired clusive will hook you up yes go to clusive.io backslash student and learn more Come back. Wake up. Wake up Monday morning. Late night session. Wake up with. Wake up with Dan and Anthony. Your two blind friends. Your two rad guys with four. Happen to have four bad eyes. What's up, buddy? You sound like a grandfather. What's up, buddy? Oh, man. How you doing? What you doing? Doing all right. I almost drowned today. Oh, my God. Almost drowned. You're, you know what? That's insensitive to people who have drowned. Dude, I felt like my body was giving up. Yeah, I know. I've, yeah, no. 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 <laughs> what do you mean, no? You were fine. No. Okay? You were I was fine. scared. It's another Anthony no. dramatic kissization. You, you and Kelly like to think I'm all dramatic. You are. No, we no. know you No, are. if you were in my body at that moment... <laughs> No, I know. I know you believe that you were. I know you believe that you were going to drown. I was drowning. I not. was no. I not. I wasn't drowning. I was on the verge of of going to the process of drowning. Oh my! <laughs> I mean, I guess everyone's at that point in their life. <laughs> I was trying to stay afloat. You were fine. No, dude. A panic set in because I couldn't catch my breath and. I was. St I started picturing myself just sinking, just like because I was trying to tread. Because you're like and, a gorilla, you're all yeah. I was just, just everything's sinking. It's too dense, and I'm like, you gotta have more buoyancy. On I'm, you. I'm trying to just stay afloat, and I just you gotta eat more little Caesar pizza, and then you'll float better. <laughs> <laughs> I almost drowned. No, we had to swim. Rest I experienced the, buoy. the panic. Dan set up a beeper box. On the buoy in a the Justin lake. Bishop beep a box. <laughs> Shout out. And what? What? So we, we raced to it. We yeah. raced to it. From the shore to the. And I was winning out. by a long shot. Like I was smoking. He was like, okay. Dude. He was maybe 30 feet ahead of me. Maybe 40. 30 feet ahead of me. <laughs> okay. The buoy was like maybe 90 feet away. The buoy was far. It was way further than we thought. It was like, no, it was like 90 feet. You think so? Maybe a couple. It, maybe dude, a hundred, I thought we went 90 times. feet, and then Kelly was like, you're halfway there. Yeah, it wasn't that far. But we, yeah, we took off off the shore. You had a, you had a, you had a solid lead, but I was banking on you burning <laughs> out. And I was, I was is, the turtle, and he was, you were the rabbit. I was the rabbit. Dan had the conserve and conceal method. <laughs> And I didn't know what was going down, dude. I was just ready to full send. Yeah. Just like, and the whole time I'm booking it with my <laughs> head down. I didn't even lift my head out of the water for half the thing, too. So I wasn't breathing. Which I don't know how you're going in the right direction. Because I went way off. Because I mapped out that you go straight and then to the right a little. Yeah, and I then, did the same thing. And then I would pick my head up and yell like, where is it? And Kelly would yell. 
Yeah, but I would. I was doing that, but I would. And then I got to stop swimming though in order to hear. That well, was that's the, the thing. I panicked and realized I didn't like stop to make sure I was going in the right direction. And then like the tiredness started to catch up with me. And then I realized I was actually pretty close. And then I heard you do your final like spurt, like where you're actually <laughs> went and go mode because you were like just going to floating wind, along. Dude. First dude. one to touch the buoy wins. Oh, it was freaking. My chest hurts thinking about it. Yeah, you got. You were drowning 10 feet from the boat. <laughs> that was the other thing. You were like, I, I can't go anymore. And like, yeah, dude, <laughs> just keep swimming 10 feet and you're at the boat. I was going to make it to Good the boat. Lord, dude. I was going to make it to the But, dude, I started going on my back, like doing backstroke, just trying to float. You let panic take over. Oh, man. Because I started realizing, like, you can't touch. There's no... I can't touch the ground, and the shore is so far away. You can only away. swim or you die. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the options. Dude, that is sketchy. I didn't like that. Swimming. I did. That's swimming. <laughs> <laughs> That's swimming. Like, I grew up swimming, though. Like Yeah, I don't understand. But it's in been, the ocean, I haven't too. been in the water in a minute. It's a calm lake. Like, too. I went wake surfing, but... This is like a... Two acre tiny little lake. I just was so determined to beat you that I put everything into that first burst, dude. Should have kept it conserved and concealed. You would have had it. I wish that. I, I thought I debated whether I had to go back for you. You would have. You would have had to. No, I kind of stopped and was like, no, I'm going to the buoy. I'm winning. <laughs> That's, like he's fucking fine. So that so it's that's what Anthony. would happen if I was drowned. Just, what no, if? No, it's just Anthony being Anthony. Over no, dude, I was drowned. I wasn't drowning. Like I said, I was on the verge of experiencing. It was a, the experience of starting to drown. It was a classic Anthony and Kelly no. combo. Of Anthony. <laughs> no, because Kelly was like even ignoring me. She was at first, and then and she then she went threw me the life vest. Yeah. Yes. No one thought to throw me the life vest until you said. Yes, yeah, so give him the fucking thing. <laughs> Obviously. Oh my god, dude! I'm like, freaking I'm so pissed at myself. I'm, I'm literally going to the gym and swimming laps every day when I get home. <laughs> when do you come? I was in. I was Anastasia. You day. were. You <laughs> even yelled it. Anastasia. You're like shout out Anastasia. I'll shrub in the water, dude. You were freaking. I was definitely tired. <clears throat> and then we had to. <laughs> but I went when I got to the buoy. Once I just tread water for a minute and chilled, I was fine. I didn't even touch the boat after that. Yeah. Well, then we had to freaking swim the boat back to shore mm-hmm. with Kelly in it. Yeah, I heard the chariot. A little chariot. But that was the adventure today. That was not cool, dude. Well, would you prefer that or going in in December again? That's definitely going in December. <laughs> really? Because, dude, I didn't feel like I was going to drown. <laughs> you going to drown. I want to race you again, though. I want a rematch. Okay. We're going to have to do a rematch. We need, a, we need to go in, like, an actual... A pool? Like yeah. Like where we can, pool. like, yeah, where we can do a straight shot. So we see who's got the speed. <sighs> no, dude, this took speed, skill, hearing... It was... There's a lot of things. Oh. Yeah, you, I couldn't hear the beeper box at all. Now, when I started going, it was really disorienting. I mean, not, I don't know where. I was, like, way off to the... I kept going... Did you go left? Yeah, that, that's why we got... That's why you got the 30-foot game, because I kept going, like, straight or whatever. The whole time, I thought you were in front of me, too, so that's why I was also freaking out, trying to, like, just send it. Because you started... When we... On the shore, you were to my left. Mm-hmm. But then you ended up to my right. Oh, I was to your left, wasn't I? Yeah, I took off in the water, and then I must have got ahead of you a little bit, and then you went, and then you went to the right. I don't know why. I, I was know. just waiting to swim We're through into the weeds. Now. I was waiting to swim through the weeds, and I was freaking bugged out. I was in the weeds, yeah. I started getting when we were swimming the boat back. I had weeds like wrapping around my legs, and I was freaking out. <laughs> I was like, "Are these water snakes?" It is nasty, dude. Getting the oh, weeds on you. I hate that. They're all slimy. The muck. We gotta do some muck diving now. <laughs> oh, that sounds disgusting, dude. See how deep you can go. In the muck? <clears throat> no, just it just means like going to the to prove you made it to the bottom you gotta bring up a handful of <laughs> it's just like sand when you get deep, but I would put some in my muck. pocket beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good move. That's a that's the classic <laughs> cheater move. <yeah. laughs> Could do that. 
No. Doesn't it, when you get super deep, it's like reverse altitude. Like, it gets really pressured, right? Like, like a lot of pressure yeah, on your lungs pressure, and stuff. Yeah, <clears throat> you have gotta you, pop your ears and stuff when you Have you ever been down. scuba diving? No, I've never done scuba. Have you? No, would you? <laughs> yeah. I would definitely do that. For sure. I mean... In an ocean? It'd have to be like, hey, come do this for free. Otherwise, I'm not going to go like... No, of course. Just walk. But would you do it in an ocean? Um, yeah. Yeah, I'd be pretty scared down there. Yeah, I'd But then it wouldn't be, be, it wouldn't be as fun, though, because it's just fucking walking around on the water. Well, what would it be more fun to wait? If you could see. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I mean? yeah. Like, just like, I mean, I guess I'll walk around on I wonder if there's any there. crazy, like ecosystem places where there's like a lot of auditorial things mm. there are some whales epic. down there yeah, would be dude, cool. that would be nuts have you ever heard whales like in person um, I haven't I don't think so no no I haven't that would be tight though if there's like a a um what is it called what's a squad of whales why am I blanking on that what do you mean a group of whales there's a name for it yeah, what the heck am I, yeah. A flock? <laughs> <laughs> Waka flocka. Waka flocka. Waka flocka seagulls. A ca- not a cod. What the heck is wrong with my brain, dude? What's a flock of whales called, people? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with your brain? It's like midnight. It'll come and to we've me later. been in the sun all day. We- oh! Oh! A pod. That's it's a pod. It's a pod. A, a pod? pod. Jesus. A pod of whales. Yes, podcast of whales. Yeah. <laughs> podcast. Good of lord, I can't believe I can't remember. It'd be oh. cool to be underwater with like a whole pod just talking to each other. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. But I, know, I mean, yeah. I feel like my whale is a dog sound. It is super. I do enjoy like even my mom's pool, just like. My mom has pulled the house and just going underwater and just chilling there as long as I can. Well, I want to do a self deprivation S- tank. Super peaceful. I've is that, that what it's called? I've done that a couple of times. Is that yeah. what it's called? Float tank. So, is that the right self deprivation? Yeah. Right. Oh, no. Wait. No. Yeah, I think that's right. No. <laughs> that sounds like self degrading. Yeah. Just a deprivation tank. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. okay. Self deprivation <laughs> tank. <laughs> 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 That's something else. I don't know what that is. You're just in there, just in there, with just like a, a voice recording of yourself, like you are an idiot. <laughs> you are nothing. You are poop. You're the reason why your parents are divorced. <laughs> Stop. That's what it is. Self deprivation tank. Self degrading tank. <laughs> Dude, no, my brother did one tanks. of those. He said uh, he did like the hour, though. I think you could do like 30 minutes or an hour. Yeah, me and, and Heather did an hour. He said the hour got like a little intense towards the end. Oh, you did one? Yeah. What yeah. was it like? I liked it. It was chill. Heather really liked it. Heather really was really able to relax. And Heather can't really relax for most things, like even during a massage. But that, she was like fully relaxed and like really liked it. Yeah. Were you? It was harder for me to like just chill, but it was nice in there. Was there like, is there music or no sound? Can you hear anything? Um, I mean, you are. You, I think you can choose to have sound or like music in your little pod. Mm-hmm. Um, but me, I would have my ears under. I'd have my ears right under the water. So you're in. Can you explain it to me? Never seeing one. Yes, yeah, so it's a giant egg thing that you're in. And then are you laying down? Yeah, you're floating on your back. Okay. And then you can have like a little neck pillow, which will keep your ears above water, or you can just have your head in the water where you're just floating and your ears are submerged. Oh man! And then um, there's like you have like little lights in there too, <clears throat> different color lights you can put on. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there's like a little panic button too, where you can like talk to the front desk or whatever Definitely if you need that. it. But like first, you go in like little your little zone so that you go into a room where you can shot there's a shower in the room so you rinse off and then you go in your little pod tank <clears throat> and you're on your back so the water's like yeah same temperature how deep is it like i don't know like a bathtub like a, kind of like 
a foot and a half or something like that. Yeah, okay. it's like a bathtub, right? right. Um, what was I just saying? No, you get in your pod. What was I just saying, though? I can't remember. Um, yeah, yeah, you get in your pod, and the water's same temperature as your body, so you don't so uh-huh. you don't feel the water or anything, right? So the idea is there's there's you're like floating, but you yet you don't feel like you're floating because you don't feel water around mm-hmm. you. <clears throat> um, and then yeah, so there's like a big s- door, like the egg is split in half. So you open up your little egg, half of the egg. You hop in, you then you close the door on yourself, and then you're in you just your little pod. So Where how do you, you float legs? if like you know when you get in a bathtub and you immediately like your legs sink to the bottom and stuff? Oh, they there's like thousands of there's like hundreds of pounds of salt. Oh shit, really? In the water, yeah. Is it Epsom salt or like just Yeah, it's like an yeah. Epsom salt, something like that. That's nuts. Um so it's yeah, so it's enough salt to make you like evenly buoyant. You know what I mean? So you are literally just like half of your body is kind of in the water and half of it's out. Did you pee in it? <clears throat> no. <laughs> no, don't pee in it. Don't pee in, don't pee in the pot. You pee before there's like a bathroom and shower before it. So you rinse off. It's, you're in a flock of whales. You could put whale sounds on when you're in there. That would be cool. <laughs> oh, it's called a pod. Oh, an egg. Oh, yes, yes. Egg. Yes, egg. pod, yes. And then, yeah, and then you're just chilling, and you're supposed to kind of just, like, yeah, mental, you know, like, meditate in the sense and kind of relax, which I wasn't really able to do, but... You were in there for an I hour. I was chilling. Did you get, like, fidgety? No, I was just, like... The classic trying to meditate, you know, thinking about telling myself to relax and to not think about anything, but thinking about, thinking about. Isn't that crazy that your mind can be the thing, like your mind telling yourself to relax is the thing blocking you from relaxing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's my number one problem. Yeah, my mind like talks to itself. I'm not good at meditating like that, yeah. Yeah, it's a practice. That's why they call it that. It's like really takes effort. It was nice to stare at a candle like that. Yeah, I remember staring at candles, at dude. Light. Yeah, it's a bouncing. There's something about the bouncing flame of a candle that was like so relaxing. Dude, fire in general. Yeah. Yeah, just staring at fire. You could stare at fire for hours. What is that? It's just so like mesmerizing. Like even mm-hmm. camping and stuff, you just sit around a freaking fire that for was hours. Our, that was like the original TV screen, dude. <laughs> that was the original iPhone screen. Was just staring at the fire. And it's dancing like the flames it's do bright all colors different things. And too. Yeah, yeah. That's the original iPhone screen. Now they have those things people get and they can like put into a fire and it changes all colors. Mm-hmm. Yeah, plastic bags. <laughs> If you put a plastic bag in it, it does like turn blue or some shit. Oh my god. Uh, excuse me, brother. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> that is a that full blown so mama dragon, dude. Yeah, that was a daddy that, dragon. That was it's a mama, that's a mama dragon. It's dude. a mama dragon. Mama dad. Daddy dragon's got a little more bubble to it. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. man, dude. Oh, also. <laughs> Coming back from the the race, <laughs> Kelly took the car back, and we took the boat oh back. Oh god! <laughs> Got lost in the neighborhood again. <laughs> so lost, like so lost. Carrying a the damn <laughs> we had aluminum the damn boat, boat, tiny little aluminum boat. <laughs> Me and Dan had to keep switching who was carrying in the front and the back. It's the little, back. It's a little aluminum John boat that's like, uh, like probably I think it's like eight feet long. So a tiny little guy. The back had like no handle on it though, so you had, yeah. and it, it was like definitely more weight in the back. It was four, so your forearms were burning after like three minutes. <laughs> so and we have you switching, and then I think I was in front when we went the wrong way or something. Which is, it was, I don't know, it was both. I don't. Even we know. just kept going, and then we realized we're like Lost. we ended up in someone's driveway. Oh, I think God. that's when we realized we we're like. This is not the right spot. Yeah, we're in the wrong spot. And then we like try. I was like walking up and down the streets, like trying to figure. Cause we were so beat, and the boat was so annoying. And then we were, <laughs> then we had to stop a car, stop the car to figure out where we were. Like, where's is, where's is the street? And he's like, that boat's supposed that to be one? in the water. Yeah, he's saying that boat is supposed to be in the water, like, boy. You, you know that's supposed to be in the water, right? Oh man. Mm. 
And we were wondering, like, that was an adventure. Waiting for Kelly. Yeah, yeah. we were waiting for Kelly. Come save us. It was like a half hour. She, she had a work just, call, and apparently she told Heather. The work, she, the work call didn't start until we got home, dude. No, but she told she Heather that she was chilling. getting on it, and Heather was like, Ke- Kelly's like, I'm really worried. I think they're, like, lost. Yeah, she was, it's been she a while. Was real and Heather was. Mm, <laughs> she was real worried. Real yeah, worried. I don't know what. Scrolling on TikTok, probably. <laughs> Ferraro. And then Heather was like, oh, I'll go. I'm going to change and then I'll go look for him. <laughs> Golly. Oh, dude. At it. one point, I had a little bit of, not like panic, but I was like, oh, shit. What are we going to do? Dude? <laughs> oh, so we didn't we, have our phones didn't either. Phones. We didn't have no phone. Oh, yeah. What's, what do we have in between us here? Oh, yeah. We got our first ever gift. Fan Four art. bad eyes fan art Where from our it? buddy from our buddy Lucas Casper. Check him out from Australia. Australia, Melbourne, I believe. Melbourne. Melbourne, Melbourne. Melbourne. He got this amazing tactile. He carved the skateboard himself, mm-hmm. made it himself, and then he paints on them. And he does this incredible art. Kelly was describing like the we have the four eyes going down in all different colors. And then the back, says, it's in, uh, the back's black, and then it says something on the bottom like, "To the uh, to the awesome crew at Four Bad Eyes, Dan Mancina and Anthony Ferraro." Mm-hmm. So this was like, and he sent us this amazing note with it, uh, and he Dan was like, "Oh, it's not in Braille." And then the first line of the note was like, "Sorry, sorry, sorry. it's not in Braille." Uh, <laughs> I tried, I would try to learn, but it's really hard. So yeah. big shout out to Lucas, dude. This a lot of love went into this, you could tell. And so cool. Dude, it's sick. The uh what is it? The freaking how he like in carved in the sides like that. And they're mirrored on each side. Yeah, it's, it's the same. Yeah, it's gotta be it's hard. really you could tell you put a lot of work into this. And the note was seriously amazing, dude. Yeah. So shot. That was really Shout cool, out, dude. Receiving our first ever thing in the mail. That, That's dope. Just like a, I don't know, man. That was like a re, like a reassurance, like you guys are doing the right thing. Like, mm-hmm. It's pretty cool. Good on you, mate. Good on you. Melbourne. Shout out to Melbourne. A boy, Lucas. Sick though. You could feel it. Casper. You could feel the pain on it too. <laughs> Yeah, you can kind of feel the pain. He worked on it for mad long, too. He was super excited, and it makes sense why. He also sent a piece of his art, too. So it's going up in the studio, Lucas. It's not hanging up yet, but it's going Sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, too. Is it Lucas? Lucas. It's (laughs) L-U-K-A-S. I think it's Lucas. Casper. Four bad eyes, bro. Four. Four painted eyes. <laughs> Four painted eyes. I think it's like uh, pretty similar to like the way the eyes are like drawn on our logo. Our logo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like the, mm-hmm. the details. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible, I'm gonna sh- mate. I'm going to shred that thing, dude. No, dude. You're not allowed to shred that. I'm taking it home if you're going to shred it. I know it, mate. Cause I'm just going to do a couple front lips on it. <laughs> Couple nose grind fikies, dude. Couple nose grind reverts. You have to skate upside down so you'll mess up the bottom, mate. You know, I'll put some, you know, I'll do, I'll put some rails on it. Well, yeah. It protect go. the graphic. I want to snap it. <laughs> I thought you were going to yell at me for my accent. I was, but then I just let it go. Yeah, because we'll fucking get some Aussie art here. <laughs> You gotta express yourself, mate, in an artistic fashion. I don't know if that's Aussie or British or just a little just bit of both. Terrible mate. of neither. See, because my mom's was from Australia, <laughs> but my pops was from England. It's a bit of a mix. Shut your mouth. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. What else we got, dude? We caught fish today. <laughs> <laughs> Power fish. Oh my god, power bait, dude! These little I got dumb damn balls. power bait. It's old. What is that yeah. from? Like the nineties, dude? dude. It's OG. Only the OGs know about power I can't bait. It's Shout out if you know about power bait. Hey, I can't knock it because it worked. It worked, dude. He first 
cast it without the power bait called a little guy. First cast. Boom. First cast right away, actually. Like, second hit the water is pretty impressive. Then we power baited it. And then he power baited it and he got a freaking meaty bastard. <laughs> 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 meaty bastard oh my got, god that was funny he got, he got the freaking meat stick a nice nice bastard <laughs> that was, that was probably a, like uh, 16 18 inches how many, I don't know how many <laughs> centimeters that is not sure they say that knows. how many fucking pounds was that uh he wouldn't have it. Be like, maybe like uh, yeah, three pounds, something. Three, maybe four, maybe four, yeah. four, four pounder. He was, he was, a, he was a nicer size bass from Michigan, but he no record breaker. But he was a meaty bass too. <laughs> <laughs> but the power bait worked. They're like these little dough balls in like a little tube. It's funny. I never used it as a growing up. That's what you guys used to use. Uh, this is one of the things that and <laughs> freaking bread. <laughs> bread, yeah. We used to go to the pizzeria and ask for like a thing of bread. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty much like using hot dogs. Power bait. Really? You use hot dogs? That's what we used to use growing up, yeah. Someone told me you use a marshmallow. Have you ever heard that? Marshmallow, I have, yeah. You I haven't have. done it, but yeah, I've heard of that. I wonder if that works. I could see that. I feel like it would kind of float. Dude, marshmallows, marshmallows float, though. It's like a bobber. Yeah. No, once they get wet, they probably just You can use sink. a marshmallow as a bobber. No, they, they sink, because... Once they get wet? Yeah, right? When they're in no, hot chocolate, they're hot don't cocoa, they go to the they bottom? Float. They're floating in your hot cocoa. Yeah, that's true. Hot cocoa. You have to weight that down, which I don't think the hook would hold a, a big marshmallow, no? <laughs> yeah, don't use marshmallows. <laughs> it's a top water bait. Oh, mm. it's... <laughs> Um, no, let's see, uh, sorry, I'm adjusting my thing. I got nothing, dude. That was it. We never made it to batting cages to do that tomorrow. I know we have to do that. I've been looking forward to batting cages. My eyeball sunburnt. My one real eye is sunburnt. It's How do you dry. know? Because it's dry and irritated. Does it? Is it because like? Do you forget to blink sometimes? Yeah, it's probably stuff like that. And you could just look right at the sun and it doesn't, like, make your eye close, right? Yeah, you just burn it, man. Jeez. So I, sometimes I stare at it for fun. <laughs> <laughs> you and the sun have a staring contest? I just stare at the sun. I'm not going to blink first, man. <laughs> You're going to blink first. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> you ever stare at the sun, mate? <laughs> Only when I was a tyke. <laughs> <laughs> you would have been doing it as a kid just for a second. Just a second. Yeah. Ah. Well, you ever sneeze with your eyes open? Yeah. You did? No. You've it, done it? Yes. I, as a kid, yeah. No. Yeah. Your eyeballs didn't your pop eyeballs out. Your eyeballs do not pop on. That is a false. That is a false. You did it. <clears throat> yeah, your eyeballs don't fly no, on No, dude. No one's ever done it. Yeah, they're attached, bro. No one's ever muscles. done it. No one's ever sneezed with their eyes open, dude. I have. It's false. I have. No, you haven't. I'll do it right now. <laughs> <laughs> eyes were lost, staring right at the GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, leave your eyes open. Your eyes are not. Do you think your uh, prosthetic would pop out? <laughs> that could actually happen. No, no way. <laughs> that might happen. Yo, you should try that. <laughs> That would be that sick. could actually happen. That'd be sick. I don't know. Actually. Oh my! God. I mean, I don't think like you're. But <laughs> you're just out to dinner. Is there that much prosthetic? Is there that much pressure when you sneeze in your eyeballs? I don't know. I've had pressured sneezes. <laughs> right. Where like the pressure pressure can was set high. <laughs> <laughs> Meaty bastard. <laughs> Meaty bastard. That fish was a real meaty bloke. <laughs> That's why you couldn't catch one. You got hooked up. I know. Oh, no, I thought I had a fuck. You, you were reeling in like, oh, yeah. Oh, yes. 
big <laughs> oh, it's like this thing is huge and Dan was there he's like yo I think you got a really big you one and, big and Kelly's one, like dude. yo it's huge like the freaking you got a huge fish and I'm sitting there freaking cranking on the rod like trying to get it next thing I know they're like dude I think you're on weed <laughs> yeah let me see that rod for a second it's like the biggest letdown, dude uh, his biggest anticlimactic moment it happens every now and then. Those weeds I was are tricky so sometimes. pissed. I thought I was like, what? like, because right before that, I was like, I gotta be one with this water. I just gotta like envision this bait getting eaten. <laughs> and then <laughs> the second that happened, you were like, don't pull right away. Like, let him swallow the bait. And I swear, I felt like a tug. And then I felt like another tug. And then mm. I set it. Right into those weeds, boy. <laughs> Said that hook nice right there, weeds. He could have, he could have been uh, nibbling at it, and he yanked it, and then set it into the weeds. I think that's what happened. I'm gonna go that with happens that for sure. That I am not a good fisherman. I will definitely admit that. It's like it's definitely a skill. Like I don't. Yeah, it's definitely a skill. It's it's just like with skateboarding. Like I don't get. The, the style, I guess. Like, how do you... How do I know I'm reeling right, you know? Like, how I, how do I know I'm doing the right reel, reel in? How do I know I'm setting the hook right? You know, like, all those things. It's, like, real fuck. Yeah, it's delicate. It's, uh, <clears throat> it's all just time and doing it again and again. You yeah. know, feeling like a... Because it's all about the feel. So, like, feeling the sensation of what it feels like for the fish to nibble it. And then what the difference between that and him and the fish actually yeah. like swallowing it and putting it fully in their mouth. <clears throat> Fishing is fucked up. You are literally, I like, you talk about going fishing all the time. <clears throat> and I knew you fished, obviously, like whatever you do. But, dude, you fi- you're the whisperer. <laughs> you're the fish whisperer. I got like it was like four casts. Dude, no. Fish. You casted your first cast, and the second the hook hit the water, yeah, it started like sure. he set the hook, and it was a fish on. Yeah. That's not normal. I'm a master caster, dude. And Kelly was all like, we don't have enough time with light. Yeah, was, and Dan was, you, you she's like, you're not going to catch a fish. One. And Dan was like, you don't know who you're talking to. I was like, oh shit. Like, I mean, I guess I kind of believe him, but. How confident can you be with this right now? <laughs> and the second his line dropped, he had a fish. That was funny. And then we caught it in that decent one. It was nice. Yeah, that was hot. That's just so funny. The power bait, dude. <laughs> power bait. Power bait. What? I've seen on TV. Uh, we made an infomercial. Did it have an infomercial with power bait? Or no? I don't know. It was just like the I popular. Think, I think like, it might have. I don't think so. Actually, it was always like you could even get it at like the convenience store, like at yeah, my Walmart town. or something. Like, or like they had like five and dimes. Have you ever had five and dimes growing up? I've heard of it. Like yeah. five I don't have them here, yeah. but yeah, it's like a little mom and pop like convenience. Yeah, uh, it's just funny. It's funny there are a couple random fishing like lures that made it like almost like. Through the whole time, or not like, like <laughs> cross over the like beyond just fishermen to like the mainstream people. You know what I mean? Like that everyone's heard of it, kind of. What do you mean? <laughs> like power bait. You know what I, mean? like, I feel like more people have heard of power bait than they have. How many like, people have heard of power bait? <laughs> yeah, I want to know. I hadn't. It was kind of familiar so, with me, dude. Never you've never it. heard of it. I have not like. It's, I was the banjo minnow was the one. <laughs> the banjo minnow. That was like the super popular one. That was on infomercials. I feel like I remember that. The banjo minnow, dude. Was it rubber? Yeah, it's a yeah. little rubber, little mini minnow. <clears throat> it's supposed to look, look as realistic as possible. We used to go and get like the real worms. Mm-hmm. Night crawlers. Yeah. That you can catch them all day on. That you can actually can like pretty much guaranteed catch a fish. At least a little bluegill. Don't those worms bite? No, I don't know. They don't got no mouth. They don't? I don't, I don't know. If, yeah, no. I, mean, I they definitely don't worms, bite. No, I think worms I do have mouths. Do they? I don't know if they do. I think yeah, they, they just do. Or absorb the nutrients Do you know silk? Skin. Silk is worm butt? It's like a... Uh, it's stuff they like shoot out of their butt. Yeah. 
And that's what people pay high money. It's like, so soft. It's so soft. It's like a like, web. You're wearing worm poop. It's like a web. It's not poop. It's, it's like worm butt. Inner butt. No, it's like a web. Like it a, came out of their butt. Would you say a spider web is spider poop? I'd say it's... I don't think so. Why does it come out of their butt? I don't know what it comes... No, I don't know what it comes out of. Exactly. The worm thing comes out of their butt. Does it, though? Yeah, dude. Does it? Yeah. That's what they poop? I don't know. To me, it's more of a web than a poop. (laughs) Where does silk come from? Here's an answer from Britannica. Commercial silk. Put that up to the mic. Help. So they make the cocoon with it. So it's got to be a separate hole. Ask if ask if silk comes out of a yeah, silkworm yeah. butt. <laughs> Does silk come out of a worm butt? We got a couple different options on there. I think we got the mouth. The first one was about having a, <laughs> like a parasite, a ring or a. Uh, one of the soft strikes of my shiny. An infection. The second one, I don't know what the other second one said. <laughs> Harnessing silk. Back, uh, oh, right like, back after these sponsors. Yeah, I guess it's like. I don't know, man. I think it it's comes from. Yeah, I guess I'm wrong. It's a separate hole. It, it, I think. <laughs> if someone could give us, send us a message yeah, to clarify. It's, it's a silk hole. Where the silk hole <laughs> comes from. How big is a silkworm? Aren't they tiny? I think they're really small. I think so. It, it's a moth, I think. And then it turns into a worm? Or it's a worm and turns into a it moth? It did say that. No, it's a worm it, and turns into a moth. It did say yeah, that. Because it cocoons, cocooned with yeah. the silk, yeah. That's yeah. a nice cocoon. <laughs> it's a soft one. So how many freaking worms does it take to make, or how long does it take to make, like, one yeah, silky lot. sweater? A lot. I can't, that's when, I, that's the thing that kind of blows my mind. Jeez. Well, that's like alpaca. Like, they have this stuff. Have you ever felt alpaca, like, mm-hmm. wool? Mm-hmm. So they have this stuff called uh, kuna or vicuna. I forget what the actual name is, but it's a special alpaca that only sheds like once a year or something. Mm. And the fibers are so fine. It's like the softest alpaca you can get. I haven't heard of that. It's crazy. Silk alpaca. I got some silk alpaca. (laughs) Silk alpaca. Does does it... um So so when you're at home, if you (laughs) sleep on a silk pillowcase... You're sleeping on poop. Sleep, sleep, sleep. I have I have definitely heard that before though. Like silk, silk is worm poop. Worm poop. Yeah. yeah, it is. I think it's a different hole though. I think Def- people just exaggerated that. Uh, yeah. Maybe not though. Where does the spider web come out of though? I also want to know that. That's like a separate hole. Do you think so? Yeah. That's I'm gotta be. I feel like it comes out. Does it come out of the front or the back? It's a little butt. I think somewhere on the butt. No, it comes butt. out of his <laughs> hands. Yeah, right. The pincers or whatever. Like a, no, like uh, his, like like Spider Man. <laughs> Pushes his two fingers and squirts out his wrist. <laughs> the bottom of the wrist that comes out of. <laughs> Yo, do you remember? Were you kidding? Do you remember the freaking Spider Man like gloves you could get? Like the you silly get, string. No, yes, yeah, oh, shot yeah. a silly string. I had that for sure. Yo, that thing is so high. I wanted one so bad. I never got it. I don't think it never worked that good. Yeah, it, I I think it I might have gotten that one. Good, dude. Sorry, mom and dad. We'll get one. They still sell yeah, them. Yeah, we got yeah. one for my nephew like a couple of years ago. They still had what one. is it called? It's called a spidey arm or something. Yeah, it's like a little wrist guard. Dude, that it's thing was this, lever, the commercials dude. for it were so enticing. Yeah, they yeah. were like, do you remember how good commercials used to be when you were a kid? Like, oh, you would yeah. watch an ad and you would be like, dude, I need that. During Christmas like, time? I need, like, yeah, yeah. I'm, one year I made, I wrote out a list to Santa. I'm on the computer, right? <laughs> so I typed it out. And I did it in like, I think it was like 80, 80 
uh, size 80 font or something <laughs> like huge right and dude I wrote like I numbered them too like each 10 page each, Christmas list I numbered them and I think I got up to like 150 like request what dude it was disgusting like I was asking for Yu-Gi-Oh shit like Pokemon, like anything I've ever seen on commercials or ads, I just asked for. Hundred and fifty. I got things. none of it. I got none of those things. All, none of those commercial toys. That's right. Because your parents thankfully. knew what they were doing. Yeah, I'm, I'm grateful. That for is that. hilarious. A hundred and fifty. You didn't there, get one. You had to have got one. I don't know. I must have got something. That's actually really like, funny. But like, I put like Dragon Ball Z shit. Like I was putting video games. Everything, you could, everything I could think of from each genre too. Like, okay, Pokemon. Everything Pokemon I've ever seen on the TV. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Oh man. I don't know how you got to one hundred and fifty. So were you like? Because I would do Pokemon Charizard. Comic. Yes, exactly. Pokemon. Like, Pikachu card. Dude, I did every <laughs> like I literally was like Legos, like uh Hot Wheels, everything. Like That's the probably the time when you think like, oh yeah, Santa just brings whatever I ask. Yeah. It's just an ungrateful little kid. That's really funny. And I remember one year you gotta find that list. One year I was like such a spoiled little brat, dude. I opened like my presents and I only had like not only, but I had like three or four presents, right? And mm-hmm. I opened them all. And I think I think what happened was my mom always used to like give like the big gift on Christmas Eve, just not even caring. Mm-hmm. Like like I got like a freaking iPod in the mail. Like I was so stoked, but I got it like before Christmas, basically as my Christmas present. Mm-hmm. So on Christmas Day, you're like, wait, like where did I give? And I was like, oh, there's no more gifts. Like I was being a little brat, dude. Like such a little piece. Like I was such a little shit. Now I think back at that day. My mom went in the fucking kitchen. It was like, probably like, this little brat. And like, wrap, or she was like, poor kid, I'm trying to make him happy. Wrapped up a grapefruit with freaking wrapping paper. Oh so I had God. something else to open. Did you like it? Do you remember if you. I think I was when very. You opened it, I think I was like, very. What? I think I was really upset. Probably just confused. Uh, yeah, I think I did. I was just confused. <laughs> I was so confused that it shut me up. Like, I was just like, the fuck? That's funny. Santa brought me this. Yeah, we were always had good Christmases too, dude. We got hooked up, dude. Yeah, we always opened our shit on Christmas Eve. You were that kind, yeah. Yeah. Heather's parents do. Heather's family does. Yeah, Christmas Eve are like the gifts from, like they get each other. And my sister is like the worst. So like she's the best because she always gets you like the most thoughtful gift and like something actually sick that I end up wearing or using all the mm-hmm. time. But she'll be like two days before Christmas. She'll be like, "Here, want your gift?" You know, like the second she gets really? it, basically. Yeah. I don't like that. I don't like it either. But I don't like opening it on Christmas Eve either. I know, but I just got so it's like, like you're just being. You're just. It's like really. It takes you away the wait. magic. Too. You can't wait it's another like, day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What says the guy? You, you couldn't even open your birthday presents on your freaking birthday. Yeah, I, I didn't open the day before my birthday. <laughs> I waited till I was conscious to open them. I went to bed early. I passed out at like nine. Yeah, you did pass you out. Know. Was it nine? Yeah, I it opened like my nine. birthday one of my birthday gifts today. The I card. A, I got a Stars and Stripes cowboy hat. It's funny. A what? Stars and Stripes cowboy hat. Oh, no, I didn't show you that. Did no, I? how'd they show? It's like a funny hat. Yeah, that's so good. But yeah, I haven't even opened. I still have bir- birthday gifts that I didn't open yesterday. That are, um, th- yeah, I just didn't open them. They're with Heather's family. Mm. They brought them and then they didn't leave them, though. That's what I was bummed. They didn't leave them? <laughs> no. They oh my them. God, no way. I guess they want to see me open them. I guess. I don't know. That's smart. It's wicked smart. <laughs> I go there, I guess. Yeah, yeah, but Anthony got me some power bait for my birthday, and that there, that proved to be a that proved to be a win. That proved to be <laughs> he was down the power her. bait, dude. I was, yeah. You were definitely down the power bait. No, I don't leave the home with damage. Dude, my body, my body's like feels compressed from that ramp slam. Oh, still the yeah. The Tony ramp. You are compressed. <laughs> mm. Six foot two, no compact. 
know, it's a nice, beautiful, freaking June, Michigan day. Hot, dude. It is hot. More me London. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's nice today. Oh, what time is it? How much time do we have? We got 10 minutes. What can we talk about? What can we talk about? What can we talk about? You gonna let me shave your beard? Yeah, I'll let you shave my beard. Do you I'll want to? Up. No, I mean, do you want to get rid of the whole thing? That's the thing. I'm thinking about shaving my whole beard off. You got to do it for the summer. For that, dude. It'll go back in like two weeks. Yeah. Might as well. As if you're lucky. You do have like a little bald spot starting. Shut the fuck. <laughs> do you get bald spots on your beard as you get older? Like a head? Dude, I've gotten like, I don't know. I know when you're. Did your beard know, thin out? I know some people that. Right. Yeah. I don't know. I know some people like when they're like, they never grow a full beard. You know, it's patchy. Yeah. But can you lose? I mean, you. But must, I know people that, that must lose their hair and have a full beard. Right. I feel like the beard doesn't go as. Yeah. Like the, the head does. It's like... It's a good question. But it then is a good question. There's people who have alopecia. I've had that before. And then that's like all the hair, though. Dude, I was freaked out when I had it. Cause what do you mean you had it? You can have it and not, then not yeah, have it? Yeah, so I had like... It must have just been a really stressful time in my life or something. <clears throat> that's what like the doctor was saying. But legit, I had like a nickel size, like baby's butt smooth bald spot on the side of my head and i had really i had long hair so it was like pissing me off and it really wow. bugged me out and it was it wasn't like my hair was just getting long so it was caused more stress and then i was ripping me then it was freaking then there were spots in my beard like yeah so then there was all these spots in my beard like i think i had like three perfect like nickel to quarter size Freaking bald patches. <laughs> Dude, and they would you would feel them perfectly smooth. Like no hair was there. Yeah, like it never yeah. grew there, ever. It was really strange. And I was bugged out because just being blind, you're like, is everyone just How staring at this? I think I was like 16. And they said it was just stress? 15. Yeah. Your hair was literally falling. Did it? Did it? But it, did, it wasn't like my hair was falling out. It was perfect it was circle. Just these little sections. It was a perfect dude. circle, dude. It's kind of sick, dude. You should go with that look. <laughs> yeah. Just pick one little circle. Just big circles on, yeah. the, on my temples, like. Were they matching on each side? I don't remember. I. I you know think I, mean? I only like had one in my head. <laughs> But it, that and it was getting bigger. I remember it was, oh, but it yeah. it didn't get bigger like in the sense of like growing out different directions. Like the circle just kept being perfect circle, mm -hmm. but growing in circumference. What the? It was bizarre, dude. I think your brother was just shaving your head when you were. <laughs> <laughs> no, because my brother, I think uh, he has like a little bit of a patchy beard too. Does he? My brother John, yeah. Yeah, mine's definitely thinning, like, in the little V's, little V areas, like the, yeah. just, like, like here to the left, and then on the other side, same side. Oh, you I mean, do you, have a thin beard. You can't really feel it. That's my head. Oh, is that your That was the top of my head, yeah. Oh. I'm thinking it's, like, thinning on oh, your head. Oh, thinning on your head. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, my beard, no. Beard's still, still like, strong. Like, your face is. Still strong. Yeah, so... Uh, Do you ever use beard shit? Like beard oil? Mm -mm. Yeah. No. I use... Actually, no, I do. I use... um. It's um worm poop. <laughs> it's a worm poop that I put in my beard. Worm oil. Oh, my it's God. Digest For all you those it's people... It's worm digestive With silk in your closets, it's you should be ashamed. It's digestive juices from should, worm butt. You should be disgusted with your closet full of silk. <laughs> silky worm poop. Works great for the beard, though. The digestive juices from Are worms. worms harmed in the creating of silk? I don't think so. Nope. Yeah, they I squeeze know. in their little bellies to make them produce more. <laughs> Tickling their little bellies. Like, how much silk could one little wormy produce? They must just go all day. That's a, that's a silky bastard. I have a silk pillowcase. 
So does and Kelly. It's nice. They're mad nice. <laughs> it's because it stays cool too. Yeah. You know, that's, oh, that's, that's the, best the real part. benefit. Like silk sheets, super expensive too. Yeah, I've never had full silk sheets. I don't like that much. No. Because my you dry, sweat? no, my dry skin like catches on them, kind of. Ooh. I don't know what kind of silk. You know what I'm either. saying? You ever no. had that? No. You ever been in silk sheets before? No, I think I have. Your skin. I mean, like, I guess I've never been in like a super high end silk. Yeah, that's the thing. You need, I think you need that different. bougie silk. But I've been in nice silk in it. Yeah, like your little, like any little s- snag in your I've been, skin will just catch on it. Yeah, I've been noticing my skin's been pretty sensitive lately to freaking. Like, traveling so much, there's so many different sheets you're sleeping in, like, cheap sheets and stuff, like, air, like, hotels and stuff, and it's, mm-hmm. like, I've been getting, like, I don't know, my, my skin just gets, I'm just, like, I hate it. And mm. Materials on my body, like, really affect me. Can you do wool? Yeah, I like wool. A oh, lot. You can, yeah. But I don't like wool blankets for, like, just a, I like down comforters are my favorite for, like, the mm. bed. But it doesn't irritate you like a... Like an itchy wool blanket won't mess with you. That's why I only alpacas like the move. Oh, you only do the uh, because it's just way only, softer. You only do the, the one alpaca with the soft coat. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, the wool blankets get really itchy. Yeah, but like how is <clears throat> like anyone sensitive? Like sensitive skin will like that'll like really irritate their skin. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, brother. Um, my mommy gave me organic like. Shower products. And I think that ruined my skin growing up. Didn't didn't put up a. Oh, now you can only, you know anything messes with you. Well, just like organic would mean you're you're probably good. No, I know. I'm saying like, yeah, if I can. use like a real chemical soap or something, yeah, my skin like breaks out kind of. Mm-hmm. Which is a good thing, I think. Yeah. It's yeah. Freaking, it's weird how a lot of these products like, I've, I'm like. Very skeptical about face wash because I'm down with it and it feels good when you use it. Oh, I know, no. But I only use like a really organic one. And with that being said, I feel like face wash is a scam that like you use it and it gives you more pimples and shit and you have to you think you like keep needing it. And then yeah. your body starts to, like, rely on Unless it. Unless you do it every day, yeah. Because that's what it does. It gets rid of all the oils in your skin and then... Then like does it just start popping up unless you use it every single day? Yeah, and there's those ones that had like the plastic beads in it too. That was yeah. like really. They do gnarly. feel good when you're exfoliate. Yeah, I know, but that stuff's like really yeah, gnarly for good. you. Yeah, just a little bit of water. Splash your face. All these freaking things are made for you to keep coming back. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's like when I had hemorrhoid surgery, dude. This is the best. I. Freaking get out of surgery, go go back for my checkup, right? Mm-hmm. Everything's great. Like weeks later? Yeah, yeah, like <clears throat> maybe a uh, month or two later. Mm-hmm. And everything's great. I'm like, so doc, like what, what can I do like to prevent this in the future? Like, so what can I go eat now? Like, what should I not eat? And he's like, I'll go eat whatever you want. Really? I'm like, I'm like so I can go eat McDonald's? Yeah. What? I'm like, what the fuck? Like, that's not normal. Like, yeah. that's not right either. Yeah. That's... I just had hemorrhage surgery. Let me go get a Big Mac. Mm-hmm. Like, there's some... And that, 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 that was at a that really good hospital. That don't sound like sound advice right there. No, and that was at a really good hospital. That's funny. Maybe you thought you were just young and it was... Maybe there are some hemorrhoids that are just kind of yeah, but a random st- thing. Still, but still, there's yeah. got... Like, say, like, you know, at least incorporate a little more fiber or, like, stay weird. away from this. Right. Because... Was that the Irish guy? Uh, yeah. And he actually found out, like, months later, got, like, an email saying he was no longer working there, so. Mm, because he was telling patients to... Go ahead, go ahead and make yourself a... Have some Indian, spicy Indian food. Yeah, don't worry about butt tags. Yeah. Sorry I left those. (laughs) (laughs) Damn it, Doc. Damn it, Doc. Oh. I think on that note. Yeah. God. Okay. Always comes back to hemorrhoids. Well, I shut the hell. Uh, stretch it out. Yep. 
right. another well, fantastic exactly. episode here for Bad Eyes. For Bad Eyes, two rad guys sending those questions and we'll maybe. send you some answers. And yeah, we have a lot of actually questions for you to answer as well. Where does silk come from? Yeah, yeah. Please send in your answers. Can your beard fall out? Yeah, and <clears throat> does your beard thin? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, I was gonna say, oh, if anyone out there wants to help Dan uh, improve his Aussie accent. Yes, this is my, how does my accent sound? Yeah, improve it. Spot on, mate. Good on you. <laughs> Get a Roo Burger after this. Oh, that's my neck. All right. Peace out. Peace out. Thank you, Lucas. Yes, thank you. Much love. Special We're hanging this up thanks. in the studio. That's sick. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. One love. Keep pushing. And one love from four bad eyes.